Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Q. This was a 14 pound brisket. After trimming, we're down to 12. We're gonna hit it with a little what's this here sauce. You guys can see my trim's not spectacular. It's backyard barbecue, folks. It's not competition. So keep that in mind. You guys trim yours the best way you would like to. You guys can do it competition non-competition you don't even have to trim it at all if you don't want to just throw the damn thing on but this is how i trim it so that's how we're going with it today for seasoning it 50 50 kosher salt coarse ground black pepper we're just going to be generous with it the front side there There we go. I'm not going to bore you guys with me seasoning up the other side of the fat cap. So I'm going to get that done off camera. And then we'll pick back up over at the Oklahoma Joe. And I'll show you how I set it up. And I'm going to fire it up for you guys again. So we'll see you there. Well, it's a little bit breezy today. You guys might hear the wind in the background. Not the end of the world. We can deal with that. Should be kind of blocked by my back. I'm standing with my back to the wind. But let's get on with this. Let's open up our firebox here, stick our charcoal grate, Now we have three charcoal grates. We have the one charcoal grate that comes for the firebox, which we're going to put in right now, just like this, on the bottom. Next, we have these two charcoal grates, which go in the main cooking chamber, if you wanted to do direct cooking in the main chamber, just like so. They go together, or however you want to set them up. But well, we're going to configure these in a V for a good burn in our firebox here. So just like this, set it up right along the backside there. Same thing with this one, in on an angle, in it goes, set it in. Now you can play around with it however you'd like to, but right there, I'd say we're pretty much set where I would like it to be. Let me get you guys in and show you guys that. And here's what you're going to look like once it's set in there. You guys just see me put them in just like that. You have a V for your burning. That should give you a nice clean burn on your splits. If you're using charcoal in your grill, I don't know if this is the setup you'd want to use, but for burning splits, this one works really good. Well, let's build our fire right now. First off, I'm going to start with a couple of these Weber wax cubes, just like the last time you guys watched my video. I'm going to set one there, I'm going to set one there, I'm going to light them up. Those guys are burning. Next, I'm going to throw in some chunks of hickory and apple just to get a coal bed started. Nothing special. They're just cut off from the splits because the splits are a bit too long for this. It's all right. We're going to just set these guys in here, get them going. This will create our fire bed that we need for getting our coals going. Then from there, we can add splits and get the cook going on fully. now and maybe a small one off on the back side over here there we go that should be good for now there to get that started up now this is just an empty metal pail i'm going to throw it right here by the firebox door just in case some of the crap falls falls into the pail not on my deck now i'm going to open up my main cooking chamber lid and open up my vent all the way just so we can get airflow more going into that let that fire build up the vent stack has nothing to do with that right now but the main chamber will get some air coming through and whatnot so we're going to get a coal bed started here once we have a coal bed started i'll pick back up show you as we're going to put on a log 
and then we'll get that brisket going. We got a little cold bed started now. I got some splits on top of the firebox here, starting up. Let's open this up here. Let's put our splits in. This one here is a hickory split. That's going in there right now. This one here is an apple split. Right now it's going in there. We're gonna let those guys ignite themselves, get going. In the meantime, we're gonna throw on a brisket right now while those guys get going up. Now, if I haven't mentioned it, which I know I have mentioned the weight, it was 14 pounds, trimmed down to about 12 pounds now. This is a prime brisket. We're going to go with it right here towards the center. Our point end is facing down towards the firebox because that's the thicker part. So I'd like that towards the most heat source, which I believe will be coming from that end. I'm also going with fat cap down on this cook. So let's get a meat probe in here. The meat probe, I'm gonna stick it in into the flat. Let's say right around there, into the flat. And that's it for that. It's not right at the end of the flat, it's almost center of the flat. I know some people like putting their meat probes in the flat. Some people like putting it in the point. Sometimes I use two meat probes so I can get a reading on both the flat and the point. But today I'm just going to go with one in the flat. If I change my mind to add another one into the point later, I'll do it. But if I do that, I'll pick up and show you guys on camera. For now, we're just going to let this thing roll the way it is just like this. Get that cable out of the way there. There we go. Now we're going to close down the lid on this guy. Those splits are starting to go. As you can see already, we got flame. So let's let this roll for a bit. I'll pick back up and show you guys how we're doing. We're two hours into this cook right now. We've been holding around 250. 260 ish in around there on temp is what we're looking at now you will get ash blowing over from the firebox not the end of the world some will go on the meat it's okay you're not going to taste it we're going to be spritzing this right now and i'm spritzing it with beef broth We've got a nice bark setting up on it as you can see Looking good. Let's close that down there. I've got a split over here that's warming up. I've just added another split not too long ago. As you can see, there we are. We got our coal bed still. We got our split burning. So we're doing good. Close this up. Put this back on top. Get that guy warm so he takes off quick when we put him in there. And that's it. We're going to let this roll. I'll pick back up in a bit for you guys. We've now hit the four hour mark on this cook. And here we go. You can see we're at 254, 253. We've been bouncing around the 250, 260 mark still. We're sitting at 143 right now on the internal of our brisket. Let's open this up and have a look see. Yes, there's ash blowing around for the ass clown that's gonna comment on it. I really don't care. Yo, you have ash on your meat. Well, whether you're using a kettle with charcoal or you're using this thing, you're going to get a little ash on your meat anyway. Like I said, you're never going to taste it. It's going to fall off. Like we just spritzed it and it came off. That's what we're looking at after four hours. Just like that. Let's take a look at our fire. See how that's going. Once again, logs on top, getting warm. So it takes off quicker once put in. And our fire's slowly starting to back down a little bit now. I'm going to go ahead and add that split, actually. I'm going to put it across this way right now just to get it going. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'll pick back up in a little bit, let this go a bit longer. Not sure if I'm going to wrap yet or not. If I'm going to wrap, I'll definitely pick back up and show you that. If not, then I'll pick back up when I pick back up. So we're six hours into this cook right now. I've decided I'm going to wrap this. So let's go ahead and get this off. 
so we can wrap it up. I should be using gloves, but I'm not. Let's get it wrapped and give it a little spray. It's got a nice bark on it. It's got a nice color to it. I'm going to leave that temp probe in there. I'm not pulling it out. I'm just going to try and wrap around it as best I can. If you're doing this at home, you could pull it out if you really wanted to and then reinsert it somewhere but I want to leave it in the exact same spot so that's what I'm doing there we go I have two pieces of foil here so I'm gonna foil that way and then foil it over again this way Get your foil as tight as you can. There we have it. Nurse gets wrapped. Put it right back in the same spot where we had it. Close up our lid. That's it. We don't need to spritz it anymore. And we don't need anything else. So now we're just going to let this finish cooking off. I'll pick back up when this is done now. Here we are after 10 and a half hours cooking and about two hours rest time, give or take. Might have been an hour and a half, might have been two hours. I can't remember, I lost track of time. But here's what we're looking at. When you say we sliced this, I know Dwayne, you're gonna give me shit for this one. That's okay. I'm gonna slice it right down the middle like I see a lot of people on Instagram do because they don't know how to slice a brisket properly. But here we go. Look at that. Very nice. We've got a smoke ring on it. It's moist. Let's see how this flat slices up for us. It's crumbling apart there. It's okay. Look at that. Might be a tad overcooked. Still edible. It's not going to win a competition, this thing, but it's not what we were going for. We're going for backyard barbecue. It's got a nice bark on it, I'll tell you that. It's just falling apart. Look at that. Just falling apart. It's okay. Let's remove this flat from the point here. Just like so. Let's flip her around sideways. Let's cut the point. We got a small point on this one. Tender as can be. Look at this. Just really tender, moist. No effort at all. There's no bend on this one, but that's okay. You don't need to bend all the time. Let me get down here for you guys to see. Let's give a bite of this. Mmm. That is good stuff. Pieces of flat here. The flat's moist, tender. Talking with my mouth full, sorry guys. All in all, not bad. Now I must say, this is my first brisket ever cooked on that Oklahoma Joe. So, take that for what it's worth. I think I did all right. People would love to eat this. I know I will. 
Well, here you go. Brisket. Done on my Oklahoma Joe. You guys like this one? Hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends. See you guys on the next one. Bye.